All right, so we'll continue to learn um, the classification of states using some examples. Um, example one is a textbook example uh, 4.16. Where we consider a markup chain with state space 0, 1, 2, 3. Our probability one step transition probability matrix is uh, it's 1 half, 1 half, 0, 0, 1 half, 1 half, 0, 0. And the third row contains all quarters. And the last row is 0, 0, 0, 1. We know that each row represents a state, the probability of the state being transitioned to another state. So this is a uh, state. First row is state zero. The f I'm sorry, the first row is state zero, second row is state one and two and three. And let's uh, draw the diagram. So we have state zero. And we know that state zero, so right here, um, so right here, state zero has uh, 0.5 chance go back to state zero, and uh, it has so uh, right here, so it has uh, 0.5 chance to go to state one. And now let's uh, go to state one. So for state one, it has uh, this uh, um, 0.5 chance. To go back to state zero and also we have this uh, one half chance that the state zero goes back to itself in the next step okay so we we'll remark is that if even if we just look at this little matrix two by two matrix block it's already like a standalone markup chain itself let's continue For state two, all right, it, it's quite uh, unique because uh, for state two, if we start uh, from state zero or state one, actually there is no way to go to state two. As we can see here, the probability are all zero from state zero or one to two. But from two, we have a quarter chance the next state is one and a quarter chance next state is zero also a quarter chance uh, next state is uh, two lastly we have uh, a quarter chance it goes to uh, three and last row uh, we have state uh, three and uh, all here, the first three entries are zero. It means from state three, there is no chance that uh, we'll go back to state zero, one, two. So for state three, we have probability one that the state goes back to itself and the next time step. And we, we've learned several examples. Um, with this type of state and we we actually have a name for it all right so uh so state three is an it's called absorbing state so absorb an absorbing space state is uh If a state 
is one centered. The mark of chain uh, won't leave the state. So state three is an absorbing state. And let's try to analyze uh, this mark of chain uh, with the um, class we've learned in previous video. It says state I and state J, they commute, then they are in the same uh, class. All right, so now let's back here. First, apparently state three is a class. We all know that every state commute with itself by the definition. For state three, we also have, um, it has probability one goes back to itself. And uh, which means once we've entered state three, okay? So why once we've entered state three, we have no chance to uh, go to other state. And next is uh, a special, like a sub matrix we had earlier, which is uh, zero and one. So zero and one are quite unique as well. As we can see here, first, apparently zero and one, they communicate with one another. Um, for example, so state one, is accessible from state zero because we have 0.5 chance from state zero to state one and vice versa. However, so which brings to our last class, which is state two, even though from state two, we have say, for example, 0.25 plus 0.25 chance go to this uh, zero one, this little cycle right here. However, from zero or one, two is not accessible, which means this implies state two is of uh, its own class as well. If we try to analyze these are uh, three classes. We'll find something very interesting. For example, um, for state two, once we've entered state two, and let's scroll up, we have these three branches where we have positive possibility or probability to leave state two while never coming back. This is because once, for example, we've entered a state zero or state one, then we'll come back and forth between state zero and one. So we'll come back and forth between state zero and one forever. We'll never come back to state two. Similar logic applies to uh, state three. Once we enter the state three, we have probability one of coming back to state three. So we'll, we will not be coming back to state two. All right. Now let me write this remark. Once entered, there is a positive, a positive probability of never re enter.
Next, let's look at uh, this class, zero and one class. And uh, once we've entered these two states, essentially we're jumping back and forth uh, between these two states. So 0.5 here go to one and uh, 0.5 goes back to itself, 0.5 go back to zero and 0.5 goes back to itself. Essentially, we're bouncing back and forth between zero and one. It's like uh, flipping a coin. It's either going to be uh, head or tail. We can never say uh, enter another state for flipping this coin. And uh, what happens is uh, each of zero, one, will be re-entered for an infinite amount of time. This is also very interesting, which brings us to our definition of the classes of the states of Markov chain. So this is uh, the key of uh, today's lecture. We actually, we have uh, two states, two type of states. That's called uh, recurrent and uh, transient. All right. And before we move on to the formal definition of a recurrent state and transient state, we introduce the following probability for state i. We denote f sub i as the probability of conditioned on if we start at state i, all right? the Markov process will ever re-enter state i. Keep in mind, this is a re-enter. So let me add this remark here. This is not, so this is a not probability of uh, x0 equals i given x0 equals i. Because this is y, all right? And uh, for f sub i, we may have uh, less than one. So this has to be re-enter, it means, re-enter, it means we may leave. Uh, from I at a certain time. And then we come back. Now we can define a mark of chains uh, state is recurrent or transient using uh, this f sub i. So for state i, we say that state i is recurrent if f sub i is 1, which is to say um, the Markov chain will eventually will re-enter state i. And there is a premise that is uh, once the left state i it will re-enter state i with probability one. 
and we say state i is transient if this probability is less than one. It means we have a positive probability. So this MC has a positive because F sub i is less than one. We have a positive probability that uh, this MC, this markup chain, that uh, it will never re-enter state i, given that, again, it is uh, once this markup chain left this state i. So in next video, we're going to see some uh, theoretical aspects about these two uh, classification of states.